Hello Quillers! Today I bring you five picture books to spark the imagination. At number five is Harold and the Purple Crayon by Crockett Johnson. An oldie but a goodie, I don't actually recall this book being part of my childhood, but even so, it's still one I can enjoy as an adult. The story follows Harold as he draws himself into his adventures with his purple crayon. The book demonstrates that with the aid of imagination you can go anywhere and do anything, and definitely inspires the reader to be more innovative in their thinking. Number four is What Happens Next by Tulsa Wanaket. In this story, Ellie's granny tells her a tale of a little bear and a grandma bear as they spend the day out together. Each part of the story prompts Ellie to ask, what happens next, until she herself is drawn into the narrative. The book takes the what-if prompt that every writer works with to develop a story and build intrigue, and turns it into an endearing tale about the powers of imagination. Number three is Druthers by Matt Phelan. What are Druthers? Druthers are what you would rather do if you could do anything at all. It's raining and Penelope is bored, so her father prompts her to imagine all the things she wishes she could do, from visiting the zoo to flying to the moon. The story focuses on the simple enjoyment of a father and daughter interacting through the power of imagination. Number two is Amazing Grace by Mary Hoffman, illustrated by Caroline Binch. Grace loves all kinds of stories and is forever imagining that she is a part of them, taking on lead roles and acting out scenes. In her imagination, Grace can be anyone she wants to be. When her class is set to do the play Peter Pan, Grace wants to be Peter, but her classmates tell her that she can't play the lead because of her gender and the colour of her skin. But still Grace persists, encouraged by her ma and nana. Amazing Grace is a wonderful story and a powerful example of embracing your imagination and discovering that you can be anything you want if you put your mind to it. And at number one is What Do You Do With An Idea by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Mae Beesum. This book is one I happened upon by chance in a store. With only the spine on display, I was immediately struck by the title and the question it prompted. The character in this book has an idea that manifests itself as a small golden egg. This tangible form allows for the easy exploration of our reaction to our ideas and how they form without delving into psychological analysis. The language is thought-provoking and empowering and the illustrations are stunning. In the beginning, the only hint of colour comes from the idea but gradually begins to seep into the grey world. What Do You Do With An Idea is an inspirational book that will encourage you to follow your ambitions. So there you have five picture books that may just ignite your own imagination. Let me know what other Quiller recommendations you'd like to see in future.